New shooter coverage of Cine Gear 2024 is sponsored by B&H and Atlas Lens Co. I'm Eric Nesa with NewShooter.com. I'm at Cine Gear 2024, and I'm at the Mutiny booth with Michael. How's it going, Michael? Good. How are you? Doing well. So we have some new updates. Yeah. Uh, I think last year when you guys were uh, did a review of us, we had this prototype uh, KXIO for the Komodo X camera. Um, it's also for Raptor. Um, it's been shipping really well. We've been doing really well with it. It has a V mount and a gold mount, full I.O. The problem is, is that a lot of customers didn't necessarily need all the I.O. So what we decided to do is to make a, uh, a less expensive version, um, which is a power only solution. This will be out of metal, not plastic, um, but it gives you multiple power outs. There's uh, three uh, Limo two pins. There's a D tap with a recessed, um, uh, recessed positive pin. So you're less likely to short things. There's another two additional ones. Uh, there's another one, two, three, four total Nemo <laughs> twos, three total D taps, and a uh, DC input, as well as a USB C PD, which we're going to be using course technology for. This will be again machined out of metal. Our idea is we're also going to add some tap holes on this so that you could use this with like the new Canon C400. You could use it with a Verano. You could use it with the Red cameras. So we're kind of making a universal system. It'll also have a digital fuse inside of it that'll automatically sense whether or not you're going over capacity. There'll be a LED light in there that'll say, hey, you know, we, we're turning stuff off to, to keep this thing safe. Um, and we think it'll be a big hit. Again, V-mount and gold mount um, and universal. That's kind of the goal of where we're trying to bring things in the future uh, outside of just the red ecosystem, which we're known for. Because uh, we don't want to, we get Sony and Canon and Aerie customers and Blackmagic all the time saying, hey, we love what you're doing for this. Are you going to make anything for like the new Pixis or are you going to make anything for the new C400? Literally, that was just announced and we're already yeah. getting people asking for it. So yes, we are. Uh, this is obviously a prototype. It's going to take probably a couple of months for us to get this down perfect. Um, but yeah. I love how you say we, we took some of the, you know, the IO out of it because, you know, it didn't need, you know, the other one has so many. And look at it. I mean. That's this thing well, still packed. Well, IO, IO meaning more yeah. like gen lock and time code and stuff. Yeah, yeah so this, this thing is full feature. It's a lot going on. This is for people who want power. Yeah. Like, they're power hogs. They're powering a monitor. <laughs> they're powering a fizz. They're powering this and that. And just also for physical placement, where they want those power cables to go. Yeah. So that's kind of what the idea of this was. And we, we're going to tune it a little bit, obviously, to make sure it works with all the cameras. That's, that's the main goal, so... What do you uh, uh, think the retail price is going to be, and when do you think it'll be available? I think it's going to be in that $400 to $500 mark. Again, it's going to be out of metal, so that'll dictate a bit of it. But, yeah, we're going to try to make it as affordable as possible for people. Fantastic, Michael. Thanks. Good Thank to you. see you. You too. Have a great show. Thanks.